In a few minutes, you're going to be hearing presentations made by members of the battalion staff, but before they speak, I would like to speak a little about St. John's, the environment there, and the type of school that it is. One of the most important ingredients in that school, by far, is the brotherhood between cadets. And I'd like to talk about that brotherhood for a few minutes because you're going to hear brothers talk about brothers very shortly. That brotherhood starts almost the first day they arrive at that school. You take a young man out of his home, away from his TV set, away from his private bedroom, away from home cooked meals, and you throw him into a barracks with a roommate that he doesn't know. And all of a sudden, he's subject to new boy training, which is very, very demanding. And as part of the new boy training, or his physical training, which is very, very demanding. And there's a purpose for everything we do. The purpose is try to cut the ties and the bond with the home so that we can, he can better adjust to a more structured environment. When one goes through that, you seek support. And you seek support from your roommate, and you seek support from other new boys. And as a result, you start to bond that first and that second day. Then as you progress through St. John's, you start to bond with others. You grow in rank, and you bond with those that have your rank. You're placed in platoons, and you're placed in companies, and you start to bond with your members, fellow, fellow members of your platoon, and fellow members of your company. And before you know it, you have built a support mechanism that's stronger than any support mechanism they've ever experienced in their entire life. Because these young men will go to extraordinary lengths to protect each other. That's what I call loyalty, dedication. And it also creates a a characteristic that will be important to them as they grow older. And each of you will remember each other for the rest of your life. St. John's will never leave you. So uh, I'm going to take a few minutes to explain to you guys what I personally believe to be the most important aspect of life at St. John's. And that's these guys behind me and all these juniors and seniors and the rest of the core. Um, a lot of us, myself for example, I've had the blessing of being very positively changed over the course of their time at St. John's. I, I really fought St. John's when I first came here. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I did some things, I tried to get out. Um, I, I didn't want to be here at all. I didn't agree with what was happening to me. I felt like it was unfair because that was my mindset at the time. I was spoiled, I was unorganized, I was irresponsible. I was a bad kid. I was not headed in the right direction and I did not think St. John's was what I needed. I needed to go home and continue doing whatever it was I was doing. And it took me about a full year, it was about halfway through last year that I decided I needed to come back to St. John's. And all positive aspects aside, even though I knew it was best for me academically, uh, molding me into a leader, uh, just an all around better person, the main reason I chose to come back is these guys. Because never with one of my friends back home have I had to bear crawl, drag him across the parade field in a snowstorm. I've never had to fireman carry my friends from back home over the dike and back. That doesn't happen. You go through things with these guys that it's hard to, it's really hard to explain. I can't, un, I can't explain 
really with words, the bond I feel to these guys, because they're everything to me. Nothing, nothing in this world means more to me than what I have with these guys you see sitting up here, and a lot of these guys out in the crowd. And I will be forever grateful to St. John's and everybody that has supported me along the way for giving me this opportunity. I love this school with every bit of my heart. And I will never, I will never be able to forget the positive changes that I've made here. I came to St. John's as a selfish, angry, punk kid. And now I see how much I hated the way that I used to be and the way that I used to treat others before I came here. I'm a better man because of what this school has done for me. And as much as everyone would like to tell me that all the changes were made on my part and that it was my choice to change, St. John's affected me more than any of them can understand and I will be forever in debt to this school. I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Greg Seville and before I start, I want to explain something that St. John's has taught me that my family needs to know and that everyone else here needs to know. Before St. John's, I didn't treat my family like they were my family. I didn't treat them like they were my friends. I didn't really, I don't know what I treated them like. And it took St. John's, and it took the people in this room and the faculty and the cadets to show me what a family was. And they, along, along with the ones that are here and the ones that can't be here, and the ones that are watching us from heaven showed me how disgusted I was with myself about how I treated them. And I'm sorry for the way I treated you guys. And thank you so much for sending me to St. John's. My final thank you goes to St. John's for making me a better cadet, a better student, and a better man. Without St. John's, I would probably, wallow, probably be wallowing in my depression with no accomplishments to speak of. But because of St. John's, I have the opportunity, the ability, and the willingness to be the best that I can be. I truly hope that next year's staff and every staff for the rest of St. John's history carries on the tradition of turning boys into men because I know if I wouldn't have had the opportunity, I don't know how my life would end. It's been five years, 260 weeks, 1,825 days. To walk through this time, it, it takes forever. You, you see everything from a different perspective. And here it is, it's done. It's flown by. I don't remember everything. I already miss it all. But I will never forget the chances I've been given, the lessons I've been taught, and the friends I've met. Every man is born with a choice, and he's born with chances. He has only to take them. He must have the drive and will to force these open, as you would a clam to search for the pearl. This is why St. John's has been turning boys into men for 124 years. We're given a chance to strive. We're given companions to support and be supported by. We have amazing mentors to learn from. Those of you out in the crowd. But most of all, we have our memories. These are what carry us through and we'll do so until we shuffle off this mortal coil. <laughs>